All right, what's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan for any of you that are new here. And if you are new, be so kind, you know, do something. Subscribe, write a comment, thumbs up, who knows, anything. Anyways, moving forward here. Uh, today I'm going to basically be doing a quick little uh, trade recap for you guys as usual. Uh, I've been trying to get myself to do these YouTube videos more and more, but you know I've been a little busy. I've been in the middle of moving into a new house, so I'm sure you guys can understand. Uh, but I'll try and push myself more. So um, today uh, we did a trade on Boeing. We were trading calls, and we made a $1,400 profit here. It was a really quick trade, uh, but it wasn't a morning momentum type quick trade. Uh, it was more of like a, a during the day type of day trade. Uh, but either way, it was pretty quick. It was about an hour long. Um, let's just jump right into where I got in, where I got out. Uh, I did a next week expiry just because of the fact that I knew I was getting in it more towards like the middle of the day. So just in case it had a little bit of more of the, you know, midday lull to go, a little bit more chop to go, I wanted to make sure that I got a little extra time just in case. Uh, but either way, I was trying to catch the bounce play here uh, back to the 175 area, which is exactly what we did. I got in right at the 172.50 area here. Uh, and I got out of the 175, pretty simple, nothing crazy that went into it. Obviously, I would have been making more if I held it all the way to the top, but that wasn't my plan. Uh, so anyways, this was pretty much it. I'm going to try and keep it quick here because this actually reminds me of a trade uh, from last week that I actually made the YouTube video of it, but I completely forgot to upload it. And then I was the type of person that's like, all right, dude, it's like three days later now. People are probably going to find some reason to complain and say, oh my God, you photoshopped the video. I don't know. You guys know how people are on the internet. Uh, but I want to kind of touch base on that one too. Um, but so I don't, I don't really have to waste time on the prices of this, prices of that. If you want to calculate things, you can do it yourself. Um, you can see I got in 20 contracts at 730 each, um, and I sold them at 800 each. Basically, that that if you see 7.30 or 8.00, the way options works, one is equivalent to 100, so it's not seven dollars and thirty cents. It's 730 each. I had 20 of them, uh, so. I sold them for 800, so you can do a, a very quick, simple calculation. 730, I'm sorry, do 800 minus 730. That gives you 70. That's a $70 profit on each. Multiply that by 20, that gives you 1,400. That's the $1,400 trade there. Uh, now, this reminds me of a trade from last week. Let's go over it here. Let me see. Where am I at? We're going to take it back, what, three days? No? Five. Yeah, there we go. Four. Here we go. Okay, four. So we're gonna. I'm gonna talk about the QQQ first, uh, and then I might as well talk about the other one that was there too, because they're they're all pretty similar actually. Um, and, and this is also gonna go to show that you guys can kind of do a lot with trading if you know what you're doing. There's various different things. You know, some days I'm literally doing nothing, so you'll see trade videos for me that I'm waking up. Okay, every morning. 6.30 around that time he's getting in obviously I'm on the west coast I'm in California so don't panic I remember some people were out trying to call me out like oh my god he's over there doing the scams no one can trade this and that in the pre-market I'm like my guy calm down you're not that smart you know you didn't catch me but let them think they did uh but anyway so you'll see some videos oh, I'm getting in like at 6.32 and then I'm out like 6.45 and then you'll see some days I'm not doing anything at that time sometimes I'm getting in at like 9.30 like I am today uh it, it all it's all, all ranges but I like to highlight this to show you guys that you know you can do really whatever you want. Uh, so anyways, to make it simple, let's just do, yeah, just the QQQ right there. That way you don't see today's trade messing it up. Uh, and basically, let's go over this guy. We'll put him on this chart. Well, he's already on a good enough chart for me to show him. I can just slide to the left. Okay, so it was catching the same thing, also kind of like a midday trade. I got in it right around the 7.30 area here, and I was out right here at, I guess, like 9 a.m., so it was about an hour and a half as well. Wasn't exactly right in the morning. Um, let's see, so where was I? 7.31 is when I got in it. Again, 20 contracts, nothing too crazy. I was in at the average price of, we'll just say, 4.48. And then I sold it an hour and a half later for 5.05. So this is exactly how it went down. I got in it right here at the dip to the uh, 257.50 area. And then I was out. My profit target on this one was actually 260, to be honest. But this was a Friday. Normally, I don't like to trade on Fridays. So, you know, that it, I just kind of wanted to be quick with it. Plus, I'm not going to lie. This, this little drop right here kind of scared me out. It didn't hit my stop or anything. Um, but it, it just kind of, I was like, all right, you know what? Might as well just take it. You're back right above the 
259 area. Your profit target was the 260. Just, you know, take it out right here. It's okay. Um, and the reason I was trading on this Friday was because, you know, the Thursday was also kind of a day that I felt I got a little short on. I wasn't doing anything too crazy going for like five, ten thousand dollar profits here on these ones. Um, but either way, you know, I put light trades in here. I did next week expiry on all of them just so that I could have that time. Uh, but anyways, just to kind of jump in on this one real briefly here, um, you know, if you want to do the math, you can do 448 minus 505, and then you can times that by 20, which gives you 1,140 was the profit on this trade. Uh, I believe if I'm not mistaken, if you want to calculate for yourself, you're more than welcome to, of course. Um, all of these trades were about 1,400 each, and then we'll go to the day before. Let's just do this. Uh, I don't get all mixed up. Uh, just look at the Roku here. That was today, that was Friday, and then that was the Roku. Um, same type of scenario. This one I started in with 10, then I added in 10. So I started in 10 at 660, added in 10 more at 640. So the average price on this one is 650. Very simple right there. And then I sold them all. This was more of a longer throughout the day type of a trade. Still next week expiration, so I didn't have to really worry about that. But again, I got into it a little bit later in the day. 20 contracts, you can do the math there. I think it's about a $70 profit each. Seven, It's, it's 69 I think. Uh, times 20, that's a 1,380. So you see what I'm saying? All these profits were around that 1,300, 1,400 area. Uh, and this also goes to show that consistency is also possible, guys. I have people out there that are always saying, no, it's not possible. You know, one day this, one day that. No, if you know what you're doing, you know, you... You can definitely do it. You can see here, we're three days in a row. But anyways, that's not the point of this video. I was just trying to show that they're all similar trades. See here on the Roku, I got in right around the 750, 756, and then I was out right at the end of the day, 1224. So that's right. No, this isn't Roku. Sorry, here. Pull up the Roku guy for you. Seven fifty, seven fifty six. I don't know why I did it all upside down on this one. It was different than the other ones. But either way, this is right where I got in. First started in right here, and we were trading calls. I added in more calls right here, and then I took the profit right over here. So basically, I was in it right around the 150 area, and I got out right. It, it should have been a little higher. I got out at the 153. I felt I got a little bit cut short because of the fact that my profit target on this one was 155. Uh, and then I saw we got pretty close and we started coming down here. I had raised my stop to the 152, I'm sorry, the 152.50 area. So after it had pinged that stop, I mean, it did reverse a little bit. I said, you know, I might as well just get out of it at that point. Uh, but anyways, guys, this video is getting way too long. I'm, I, I'm glad that I was able to kind of stuff three trades into this. I'm kind of impressed with myself on that one, especially considering how much I ramble. Uh, but anyways, that was that. Mainly we wanted to kind of go over, that's an easier way to do it. Uh, today's trade, you know, got in at 9.30, got out 10.30. Very simple, nothing crazy. Obviously, I could have made much more if I put that into a current week expiry. Um, but anyways, that's besides the fact, guys. I don't want to get too deep into it here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. I want to wrap it up because I don't want to ramble and make it too long and then people complain. Nobody likes it. Uh, anyway, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Just check out the links in the description below if you're interested in joining my watch list or anything like that or you want to uh, catch me on social media. All of these trades actually, by the way, were on the watch list in one way or another. The Roku one was, uh, the QQQ one was also. I was actually watching Spy around that area for the 320 dip, uh, which it did the same thing right at that area, 320. I just like the way QQQ was acting better. Um, and then Boeing was also on the other stocks to trade. Um, anyways, that, that's besides the fact. See, this is where the rambling starts. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. We'll wrap it up here. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to title it. But anyways, check the description below for the link to our site or to catch me on social media, you know, Instagram, Twitter, who is Bijan T. And I will catch you guys in the next video.